Okay, welcome back guys. It is the 9th of January, which means this is 9 uploads in 9 days, so I think today we deserve 9 likes. If you like more than that, you know the drill by now, I will upload again tomorrow, but we are on form 9 uploads in 9 days now. So before we get into today's video, if you want to get yourself a training program written by myself, you can visit coachrichard.store, the link is in the description, there's plans on there for weight loss, muscle gain, there's gym plans on there for football now, and for sprinting, track plans for athletics as well, so I've also recently added personal training sessions with myself, so if you're local around London, you want to do some personal training with me, go and grab yourself personal training sessions. They will only be on there for a limited time. Today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to set yourself up to do bench press safely and effectively and to be as strong as you can on the bench press. So as I said from when I started this channel, this channel is for your everyday guy, not for your professional athletes. I was a professional athlete myself. There will be stuff on my channel from time to time that shows my training, that shows some of the people that I train and we have to exercise with really good technique. I bench press 125 kilograms at 75 kilograms body weight when I was at my peak. The people I brought on the channel, I brought with zero technique and they've never been to the gym before and we've developed them. And you see their progress over the transformation. So bear that in mind when you're giving your feedback. So today we're gonna look at how do you actually do the bench press safely, effectively with good form and good technique. First we're gonna talk about these things, the safety bars. In my opinion, they cause more risk than assistance and I'll show you why. I know there's other YouTubers out there that advise you use these things, but I really don't like them. And I've seen them cause issues for people that have been training in the gym before. The reason why they don't really help you is that either they're too low and they're already below the line of your chest or they're too high. And when they're above the line of your chest, you won't actually be able to perform a full rep. So right now, these are below the line of my chest. However, they do actually pose a risk. And I've seen this happen several times because the discs are so big and the platform is so wide, it's very, very easy on your reps to touch the disc onto the frame. And if you do that, it immediately throws your bar off. So now we're gonna look at how you take the bar off the rack and the position that you put yourself in under the bar to do that. You want to make sure when you take the bar off the rack that your eyes are in line with the bar. The reason for that, if you take yourself too far above the bar, when you do your reps, there's a risk that the bar is going to touch on the rack and I've seen that happen several times too so we want to avoid that. Now one of the biggest mistakes I see with the bench press and this is something we're really working to fix with Finch right now. When you take the bar off, if you just lift it off in any old way, it's very easy for your wrist to end up in the wrong position and it's very difficult to get them back there without the bar rolling back into that wrong position. So the best way to counteract that is when you pick up the bar, you want to wrap your wrist around the bar. The first thing you want to do is retract your shoulders. You want a small arch in your back with your chest lifted into the air. Then you want to wrap your wrist around the bar. The width of your grip should be that the elbow is underneath the hand at the bottom of the push. And we can find that by putting this in line before you even move. You wrap your hand around the bar, chest up, shoulders back, down, elbow behind the bar and push back up. Elbow behind the bar and push back up. We're gonna start with the knees underneath the feet or slightly in further so that when you start to struggle, you can plant your feet down into the ground and it gives you that extra strength to push through. When you bench, you don't want to be benching up here. This is a lot of stress and strain on your shoulders. So you want to make sure when you're benching that you bring your elbows in, tuck them in behind the bar at all times. So now I can push through. The wrist also needs to be in line. You want to always be focusing to rotate your fingers so that they come in line with the ceiling. This way my wrist stays straight and I can push through here. As soon as my wrist starts to round back and fall back, I bring my elbows in, or I can't wrap that by bringing my elbows too high. I lose the shoulder retraction. So, shoulders back, shoulders retracted, chest up in the air, wrist straight, drop the elbows down underneath the bar, all the time underneath the bar, and back up. Try to keep everything in line underneath the bar. It's the bar that we are pushing on bench press. And if you want to get a really good solid workout on your chest without any injuries, without putting any pressure on your joints, you need to make sure you get right behind it and push through. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps some of you guys. Please don't forget to check out coachwidget.store if you want massive muscle gains and weight loss. It's already the 9th of January, so make sure you go and grab your training program right now. Let's do this together in 2019. I'll see you guys soon.